Hello and welcome to 4 Accelerator and another episode of our third series of How to Beat Deity. I'm your host Stratagos and today we are continuing with Saladin leading Arabia into the Classical Era. Uh, so I've just been moving these troops around. We built more troops than we probably otherwise would just because Hungary was at our gates. Uh, hungry for some action. Uh, let's just move you onto this hill. Uh, let's move you back and attack the Slinger. Oh, it looks like Hungary's probably going to finish off that scout. That's fine. Uh, we want to move this. Why don't we move this back just to, just to make sure Hungary doesn't get any funny ideas. We want to get the dedication uh, free inquiry because we're going to get lots of uh, scientific boosts, Eurekas. Um, yeah, and we're, we're not going to be as quick with the religion, I think. So we're going to go for free inquiry. Um, and right away, we're just going to get this boost to horseback riding, which gives us plus one error score already. Uh, we want to clear out the barb camp, but we want to make sure that we get to clear out the barb camp. So we are just going to fortify for now. Uh, hopefully, Nanmadal's uh, warrior uh, gives it a whack before we can uh, move in there ourselves. Uh, in terms of policies, we just got our uh, Pantheon, so we want to take that out and put in uh, urban planning plus one production in all cities, and I think we'll just leave in a Goge uh, as our military card so that we can uh, build military units faster if we need to. Um, so now we have seven housing, so I want to put it back on a food focus, take it off of these high production tiles, and put them instead on um, high food tiles. So these two in particular, and it'll be 14 turns until growth, and eight turns for our settler to get out. Alright, we'll be able to kill this camp with these two. And uh, Hungry did kill the scout, but that's not a big deal because you don't really benefit from that aside from experience. And this slinger is already level 1. So we will pick up the uh, volley promotion there. And I just want to make sure he's not sending anything our way. I also am going to send uh, this builder up to improve a copper tile, even though we're not working on copper tile right now, um, but we might want to soon, and it will give us the boost uh, to the wheel, as well as more error score. You can see we're already, uh, because our dark age makes it so our, no man ever wetted clay. Uh, it is our threshold important. for uh, error score is lower, um, so we're already, we've already got 10 out of 15 just to get to nor uh, normal age. Hopefully we can get a uh, golden age in the medieval era. And I think because we're prioritizing religion, uh, I will probably get moksha. Uh, I do want to chop that for a campus, but I don't think I'll be doing a whole lot of shopping at the start. Well... Yeah, probably not a whole lot at the start. Um, I could put down my government plaza, but uh, I do like that cattle tile for right now. Um, okay, what else do I want? I could get the granary for extra housing, which would be good. Um, oh, I, I don't want to build. I just want to finish that settler. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna keep these cards in. We're not. We don't need conscription because we don't have any units with unit maintenance. Move these guys back. Heal these guys. I'm, I think I'm just gonna leave this warrior right on that spot. It's nice and defensible. Gives us lots of vision. Uh, move this slinger just to explore a little bit. Tech-wise, what do we want? Uh, we could get for. We could go for horseback riding. But we don't have any horses, that's right. We do want riding, though. Uh, in terms of civics, I think we want early empire. And in terms of governors... Uh, I think I'll just hold off for now. Um, we'd be losing out on some, like, Pingala if we did that, but... For now, I'll just hold off, and uh, we'll pr probably go for Moksha first. But we don't have to make that decision right now. Uh, and the reason I want to go for Moksha 
is to spread the religious pressure faster with his first ability, but also the quicker we could get to uh, Patron Saint, which gives our apostles uh, an extra promotion, uh, the better we'll be. Um, so since, since we want a very early religion game, uh, I, I want to prioritize him, even though other, uh, other governors might be better at the start, but uh, we do want Moksha as quickly as possible. And now I'm going to get the boost uh, to wheel and Samara score from that. And uh, we do want to work that tile, it looks like. And we also want to work these uh, two food tiles. Well, yeah, yeah, those, these two food tiles and that tile. So 11 turns to growth, 5 turns uh, to get the settler out. Ah, this, uh, this warrior can be promoted. Matias built the Apadana. Promote this warrior. I'm just going to leave this slinger on that hill. We can turn it into an archer if we need to. In terms of where to settle, I think we'd probably want to settle right on the wine, um, just because that's as close as we can get to Matias without incurring loyalty pressure. Um, I like settling on luxury resources because you get a copy of the luxury resource right away. Um, also then you save tiles for uh, better improvements than the plantation and for districts as well. So uh, I think we'll just probably settle there first. That's why I'll leave my warrior there. And uh, from there, I guess we'll probably put a holy site there, say, um, to just get plus one from the woods. And uh, if we can get another district there, then it'll get plus one from two adjacent districts. It's it's not a lot of faith, but it's what we, we need right now. And we might even want to like buy out to get that horse tile as soon as possible, um, just to make sure he doesn't get it. some rainforest. So this would be a good campus spot too. Um, just because we got plus two from the reef, plus one from the two rainforests. Fortunately, we can't settle uh, there. And we want to, we would want to preserve that rainforest so we could settle there, for instance. Uh, problem there is I would love to settle here. So you know what we'll probably end up doing is settling there because it's a luxury getting a harbor there and then one two three we'll have to settle here but that's fine uh, so we'll still get the plus two from that and we can get um, uh, a district there to get that to a plus three the, the magic number for campuses is um, plus three because at the enlightenment civic uh, you get the rationalism policy card which gives you uh, plus 50 percent science uh, for campus buildings, including our madrasa, uh, if you have a population of 10 or higher, and plus 50% if your district has an adjacency bonus of plus 3 or higher. Um, so we want to get all our campuses to at least plus 3, and of course more is always better. Let's just uh, poke our heads down here. Ah, a goody hut. Not bad. All right, so we've got vision now um, that we can make sure Matthias doesn't come our way. We don't have any luxuries to trade him yet, do we? No. And we don't have open borders to sell him either. All right, he's got an encampment down. We're probably going to have to worry about him, but uh, we can convert him to our side, to our religion. Because uh, it doesn't look like he's going for a religion yet. Alright, he's got two great profit points per turn, so you know maybe he'll get there, maybe not. Alright, now... Now what do we want? Let's see, let's prioritize... 
food. We don't really need the shrine just yet. Um, we don't need the great profit points either because we're going to get a, a great profit no matter what. Uh, we could get Monument, which would help us get to the Mahabodhi Temple faster. Um, a grant, well, basically, we want everything. We want a trader. Uh, we could purchase a trader before too long, though. So we'll probably buy a trader later, and we should use one of these. We don't have a lot of good food tiles, so I think I'm going to go for the granary first. Um, that'll also give us housing. Um, and then uh, once we get early empire, we'll get the colonization card for uh, plus 50% production towards settlers. And then we'll try to pump out settlers that are out of our capital. Get that goody hut. Boosted sailing and bronze working. That's good. Writing is easy. All right, we got writing. Okay, where to now? Uh, we don't really need irrigation just yet. We don't need sailing. Uh, so we probably want to start researching. We could get bronze working. Uh, we could get water mills. That would be useful. Build a quarry. Um, yeah, why don't we get uh, the wheel so we can get a water mill, which will make our city that much better. settle our second city, Jeddah, and uh, that gives us the boost to early empire, which is perfect timing. And uh, not a lot of productive tiles here, but uh, we will put down our holy site. Uh, I know I was planning to put the government plaza there, but that pasture is so good right now that we might even put the government plaza, say, here, and, uh, and then maybe a campus there or something, whatever. Um, but uh, for now, let's just put down our holy site. Because we do want at least two, two holy sites so we can get two temples to get the boost to divine right. Uh, but I think the first thing we'll want here is a monument, uh, which will help us grow the city's uh, borders a little bit, um, which will be important. And we also want that culture because we'd like to get to... Uh, Mahabodhi Temple uh, and Theology as, as quickly as possible. Uh, I don't think I'm going to promise not to settle near him because I do intend to keep settling wherever I please, so I'll have to incur a little bit of uh, grievances there. Like air conditioning that brought down the Roman All right, and now we want to put in the colonization card for settlers. Uh, let's see, we could, and we'll go straight for political philosophy, which will take a while to get. Uh, let's see. All right. That's, that's fine. Yeah, we'll work all these tiles. Here, we're working this one. That's good. We'll set this to production and food focus. Um, we want to finish the granary, yes. Uh, the question is, do we want to get uh, Magnus uh, for his provision? I don't think we really need it because we have decent food like we have a few food tiles so uh, if we wanted Cairo to get huge we we might want provision but uh, I think for now it's probably just fine if we go for moksha although he is tempting because uh, then we'd also get black marketeer and in case we don't have a lot of iron that would be super useful for our mamluks um, 
whenever I don't have Magnus, I always just feel like a little bit uh, regretful that I don't have him. So I don't know. I might I might get Magnus after all. And then Moksha. I mean, we don't need those apostles promotions like right away. So maybe maybe I'll just get Magnus, but I'll I'll still defer the decision for just a little bit. Uh, there's someone down here. Hopefully, if I peek over that way, I can meet them. Nope, not quite. It looks like Georgia, though. Oh, somehow I became suzerain over Nan Madal. I must have uh, accidentally uh, completed their quest, and that's how I met Rapa Nui as well. Okay, if I send Rapa Nui a trade route, they'll be happy. If I sell... You, uh, you don't have any money. You could probably at least buy my open borders for 23 gold, sure. And uh, we can use that to buy a trader soon. And we'll want to send him a trader uh, because the AI likes that as well. So if we put this uh, city there put a harbor there um, or we could put the harbor there to get an uh, adjacency there maybe that's the thing to do um, I don't know we'll just put it there for now so harbor could put a holy site there maybe a theater square there I don't know but we'll figure that out later. All right, we already have a normal age next era. That's good. I'm gonna send this slinger around to just meet Georgia, assuming it's Georgia. Ah, now he's got gold per turn. Maybe next turn he'll have even more. Ah, and we got our great prophet. Lao Tzu. Islam is still available, so we'll take that. Uh, I want work ethic because... Um, because I have lots of boost to science, and you need science for the science victory, but you also need some production. Uh, for spaceship parts, and so I will take work ethic. Uh, choral music is also a strong one because you get lots of culture, and this makes it so you don't even really need theater squares. You could just get by with uh, with holy sites, but I think I'm going to take work ethic for the production bonus. I do want the mosque building, uh, but first, I think I'd rather start with holy order so that missionaries and apostles are 30% cheaper. Um, and that, in that case, uh, my, my first two apostles will be cheaper, allowing me to, um, get, uh, get my enhancer beliefs, uh, that much more quickly. Um, so that's why I'm going to pick Holy Order first, although the mosque is the, uh, building that I would love to have. So I'm going to found this religion with, uh, the seal of the prophet, the last prophet. And uh, I think I am going to point Magnus into Cairo, give him the prom provision promotion, uh, which we'll, we can get into Black Marketeer later, which will be very useful in case we don't have much iron. Uh, and we will get out that settler. We will also buy a trader. Okay, we just we still want to go meet uh, whoever's down there. We've got a pretty good campus here. Uh, plus two from the reef, plus one from the mountain. Uh, also here would be good. Uh, plus two from the reef, plus one from the, the two rainforests, but uh, that you'd have to keep those rainforests then. Uh, here would be a good spot for a campus, too. I don't know if I'm going to settle cities down here, but uh, maybe. Here we could uh, 
You could settle there, for instance. Put a harbor down there. Put a mine on that. That could be good. but it didn't affect us. It did uh, put a production on that tile, which is pretty useful. Uh, maybe we'll uh, expand to that soon. All right. Um, I will send my trade route to... It'd be nice to get food and production there, but I think I'll send it to Buddha just so I can keep him a little bit happier. And, uh, and also spread my religion to him, although he's also got his own religion. So he's not going to be happy with us once we wipe out his religion, which we will be the... He'll be the first target because he's our neighbor. Sometimes the wheel No, on that player. Ah, it was uh, it was not Georgia, it was Australia. Australia as their prime minister. We sympathetic allies. It is an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. I'm going to send him a delegation which he'll accept. Uh, I'll see which of these guys wants to give me the most gold. So he'll give me 7 gold per turn. Matthias will give me He doesn't have that much. So I'm going to trade my wine to John Curtin right away for 7 gold per turn and 13 gold, which is excellent. I'll also sell him my open borders for 1 gold. Um, and hopefully he'll be quite friendly to us after this. Let's... Yeah, he doesn't want to be our friend just yet, but hopefully he'll be quite friendly after that. And uh, I think at this point I'd love to go for... Uh, go straight for apprenticeships and maybe stirrups to get our uh, Mamluks online. Oh, another wonder we really want is the Hagia Sophia, um, which we could build uh, flatland. Let's see, yeah, flatland adjacent to a holy site. Um, so we could chop out this forest and build the Hagia Sophia there um, after building the Mahabodhi Temple there uh, because that'll give us extra charges on our missionaries and apostles, which is excellent. So we, we, do, we don't want to delay going that direction too long but uh, for now I think we'll just we'll get currency Well, that's not good. I was planning on uh, moving my archer or my slinger around that way to get to safety, but maybe I'll just go through his territory instead if he'll... 14 gold. Yeah, I'll give you that. losing uh, pressure in our holy city so we definitely want to get our shrine out so we can start sending out uh, missionaries we'd also like to I would love to settle here but there's just too much loyalty pressure there for right now so instead I think I'll send well I think I'll uh, actually send this out to pick up that uh, wine and uh, put down that, that great campus over there, because that'll, that'll be the strongest campus we have. I would like to settle in this area eventually, probably right here, um, but I'll just leave my warrior there for now, and hopefully he doesn't uh, come take it from us. Um, let's see, we could also 
this wouldn't be a bad spot. Uh, or settle like here wouldn't be a bad spot. So maybe we settle like there and there for a harbor or something. Um, in fact, maybe we would just want to settle here. Um, it's not a great city, but we can get that campus going there. Um, and it'll give us some loyalty pressure against him. Uh, my concern is just that he's sending that up there already. Uh, I think I'll just come settle over here first. Hanging Gardens and Machu Picchu both built. Alright, now the settler is moving into Pesh, so maybe... I'm just going to leave my Slinger here and block him and keep him from settling over this way, which might be where he wants to go. Yeah, so now he's going down, which is great. We don't want him to come near us. Send this settler unescorted. It's just our city-state ally over that way. So I'm not too worried. New Barbarian Outpost. Um, I'm just going to stay fortified and let uh, Hungary deal with that. wonderful plus four campus right on the coast and uh, I'd like to get that campus out right away although in terms of citizens we might like to expand it might make sense to buy that uh, marble tile yeah so if we buy this marble we'll get a two food tile which will help us grow in population faster and grow our borders faster um, and then we'll still be able to work that right after um, actually buying these might not be bad either um, but we'll start with this and uh, we could put down the campus but I think I want to save that chop for uh, chopping out the Mahabodhi temple which we should be able to do uh, before too long I think I'd like to get another settler out and what are we uh, working here? We're working these tiles. We should be working that tile, I think. Or now we want to, yeah, get it out, get the settler out faster. Wealth consists not in. Okay. Uh, why don't we find iron? Because we're going to need that for our Mamluks anyway. So now that we're settling, it makes sense to look for some iron. Divide and rule. Ah. Uh, so we're not at war or anything. I think the way to go is Classical Republic. Uh, which will also help us get great scientists faster. We don't have any great scientist points coming in, though. Uh, we would like to go straight for theology at this point. Uh, we'll continue putting out settlers. We'd also like urban planning for plus one production in all cities, uh, plus two influence points, and uh, I think the monasticism is a good bet right now. We'll slow down our culture a little bit, but we'll speed up our science um, in cities with holy sites, um, which will be fairly strong right now. Monasticism sort of like built for uh, 
Arabia, so I just want to put that in there. So now we get 11 science and 7.1 culture. Probably want to buy a builder uh, with my next uh, my next gold purchase. All right, we got the monument. Now we should put down this holy site. Actually, I might want to buy a water mill here. Oh, that'd be a bit more expensive. So probably a builder. I might buy the builder here though. Improve that marble. Get the boost to uh, quarries. Yeah, see that extra culture, that one culture uh, makes our uh, district, our city grow that much, like the territory grow that much faster. So it's a good thing we got that. Uh, what would I like here? The holy site will take 21 turns. A builder uh, would not, would only take 13. I think I'm going to build a builder here and then also buy a builder um, down here. Can I faith purchase a missionary? I can. Bronze is the mirror of I'd also like to improve those turtles, so next I will research sailing. wine uh, put a holy uh, put a campus down there next to that reef for a plus two uh, I think I want to get out another settler although getting that water mill would be very nice yeah I think I'll get the water mill because that'll just be really strong Large may venture. All right, we'll improve those turtles, and then we'll improve those turtles. And then we can sell those. Let's be friends with John Curtin. Uh, he does not have a lot of gold. Neither does Matthias. Matthias doesn't have any. So we'll just uh, hold on to our luxuries for now. Tech-wise... I think we'll go for horseback riding. Uh, I do want to send an envoy, but I think I will send it uh, to Rapa Nui after we put in the card to double it. Uh, before we start converting Matias, I'd like to get our own little religious base back here, um, take out the... Uh, or convert these other cities that don't have a religion yet. Alright, we need to uh, send this warrior back here. Send the slinger with it. Maybe buy it, uh, upgrade it into an archer.
great library has been built. Yeah, they already have skirmishers, so we definitely want to upgrade that slinger into an archer. to Celestial Navigation. We are one era score shy of a Golden Age. Ah. Ah, if only I had two more Slingers to uh, upgrade right now. Um, that is a shame. trading with Buddha for now. Uh, we'd like to... Well, maybe I'll trade with Pesht, because maybe then we can bust up this uh, fog. Actually, I'll just bust up the fog this way, and then trade with Rapa Nui. So I'll just hold off for now. Oracle's been built. Okay, we do have some iron near us. Oh, and there's barbarians there. So we're in a normal age. Uh, we did not get the golden age, unfortunately. Uh, but hopefully we can get a uh, golden age in the Renaissance. For now, that is uh, the end of the classical era. So that is the end of this video. Uh, if you liked, please like and subscribe. If you uh, want to leave a comment, please leave a comment, questions, requests, anything you got. We'll always love to read those. And uh, otherwise, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!